Thanks for checking out this horror film review from the Banana Laser Horror Podcast. You can find our full archive of every unedited show at horrorphilia.com. Also, subscribe to Banana Laser on iTunes, Stitcher, and YouTube. It says YouTube. Well, click subscribe. Thanks, and keep on banana ing All right, guys, we're back, and we just watched the Human Centipede 3 final sequence. It just came out about a week and a half ago. It's 100% politically incorrect. That's the tagline. It stars Eric Roberts, believe it or not, (laughs) as Governor Hughes, Brie Olson, believe that or not, as Daisy, Lawrence Harvey, back from the dead, as Dwight Butler, oh wait, he didn't die, Uh, Dieter Laser, back from the dead, as Bill Boss, Tom Six as himself, proving he's a tremendous actor, and Akira, Akira, Dave, what's his name? Akira. Oh, I gotta look at it, I don't know. uh... (laughs) Centipede One from the first movie is back as inmate number 333. Wow, that's good. (laughs) That is pretty good. Quick synopsis here, guys, in case you haven't seen this film. Taking inspiration from the Human Centipede films, the warden, played by Dieter Laser, of a notorious and troubled prison looks to create a 500-person centipede as a solution to his problems. Ooh. Holy fuck. Before we get into this... Akahiro Kitamura. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Just, do yeah, do the man justice. Yeah, That's what I'm here for. Thank you, Dave. Uh, before we get into this, guys... Uh, I want to let you know up front, this is a new release, and we are going to go ahead full spoilers. We're going to talk about the movie in total. We're not going to leave anything out. So if you don't want to know certain things, you feel like you're going to be spoiled, then maybe you should just skip this review until you've seen the film. So just a heads up. Human Centipede 3. Now, (laughs) we've already done the other movies. Some of us have liked them more than others, but isn't it... I got to applaud Tom Six for at least finishing this whole thing. He said he always wanted to make three films and have them connect in this kind of way, ass to mouth, Mm -hmm. and he did it. I mean, I kind of really, truly expected him to give up after the second one. I thought that was like the big moment. You know, I didn't, I I was still excited to see this film, but I didn't really think he would actually come back. Hmm. Not only did he come back, he was in it. I mean, come back to do it. You know what I mean? It's like, I feel like it almost everything was said with the second film. You know, the first film and the second film came out really close together. And it took, what? I mean, what was it, four years for this movie to come out? I mean, I was excited to see it. Don't get me wrong. But as a filmmaker, to do three movies right in a row, all the same franchise, just feels, I don't know, odd. You're right. Usually guys bolt after two, like fucking yeah. Adam Green with Hatchet and Eli Roth with Hostel, etc. See, there you go, yeah. Rob Zombie with two two Firefly people, or whatever the <laughs> Firefly people, I call them. You I know. don't even know what that is. The Devil's Rejects family. How is <laughs> <Rejects? laughs> I should have called them the Firefly clan or something. I don't mm-hmm. know, but you still want to know what I was saying, would you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, clan, I would have got it. You know, guys in pointy white hoods. I get it. <laughs> You're into <laughs> weird shit. Yeah, I'm like laser in this movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, okay. This movie is is being reviewed all over the place. And from what I can tell, it's getting lambasted from everyone. Saying the film is boring, the film has nothing, the joke is over. Um, uh, it's just not satisfying. Did you guys reading that kind of stuff or did you guys even read that stuff did that impede your impression on the film before you saw it yeah you know i went in there thinking well i don't know i did kind of go in with the idea that well maybe this guy just doesn't appreciate it what they were going for because here's the thing by the time you get to this movie it's comical if i could say you know and i think that they just took that approach it's almost like what went on with all the 80s slashers that became big franchise names, eventually you make it humorous and just funny because it's no longer the shock value is gone. The fear is 
truly gone, you know, <laughs> uh, from the whole idea. So then you just begin to have fun with it. So I think Tom Six completely realized that what am I going to do? Just a straight up horror film again? It just wouldn't it wouldn't work. I don't think I think he sort of had to do this humor approach that he did. So I went in thinking that I'm just going to ignore that guy's uh, review and just take it for what the, the vision's supposed to be. And I'm with you. I agree. I, I, Tom Six did what he, he probably should have done. And, you know, when it comes to movies like this, no fucking way do I take anybody's opinion. Because these movies are so debated and, so, and people just, you know, consider it trash right off the bat. It's like paranormal activity. People just fucking hate them. And I happen to like them. So it's the same thing, very different series, but similar type of, you know, reaction from horror fans. Well, here's the thing, though. The guy who said this, I think it was bloody disgusting. And he made it clear to let us know that he is a fan of the first two. So that way you could take his uh, opinion ex exactly the way you just said, like the opposite of what you just said. Like, oh, everybody, you know, has a bit of opinion. One I can't take anything serious. So he wanted to tell you that. No, I'm into it, guys, and it sucks. But you know what? I could understand that. This is one of the few movies. It's not for everyone. Obviously, we already know that. But it's not even for all the fans of the first two. It, I could completely see somebody watching one and two and then watching three, being that it's so different, and just not, not liking it. I don't have a problem with that. But I do have a problem with the way some people are talking about it. Yes, some people are really trashing this film, and regardless of how I feel about it at the end of the day, it's not that bad. Like, people are talking worse about this film than they did about when the first Human Centipede came about and how bad the, just the concept was. And it's it's crazy because by now, what is it, six, seven years removed from the first film, the concept is like I said in the last show, it's in pop culture. It's a fucking joke. We're laughing about it now. It's not a thing to be horrified about. And so for him to take this film and try to go balls out, laugh out loud, outrageous um, comedy was probably the right approach to, to take this movie. And it sounds like you guys agree with him. Yeah. No, he, he even went as far as... He couldn't tell you any more clearly that he's not taking this seriously than to hire the guys who were in the first two movies. Exactly. <laughs> like, right he doesn't there. care. Right. He right. doesn't give a shit about the audience at all. And I'm not saying he's saying, you know, fuck you to the audience. He's just saying, this is what I want. You like it or, 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 or hate it. It doesn't matter because it's what I want. Yeah, he's, he's saying, guys, it's a goof. That's what he's saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just, I think that's part of the charm of the movie. That's what I like about it, that the fact that he has those two guys in there. And I, I mean, we'll get into it, how fucking great they were. But it's almost like a love letter to his first two movies, in a matter of speaking. That, you know, the, you, they do the lines. They repeat lines. They bring people oh, yeah. back. There's callbacks. <laughs> he just had fun with it. He's like, I'm going to go out with a bang, and it's going to be like a greatest hits package. And it, That's what's weird about it. I can see somebody not even liking the first two and watching this and fucking liking it. To me, only if you didn't see the other two. That's like what I'm you, saying. If this was That's your first it. one, right? Yeah. I mean, it's also good if you've seen the first two because there's a lot of references. But even oh, yeah. if you didn't, mm -hmm. this could be like a cult classic. I don't think it's going to be based upon all the the fucking bashing it's been. But I don't know. It, it just seems like a that fucked up of a movie that I could see a lot of people like. If it wasn't a part three, if it was a part one, it might be viewed differently. I fucking told you these movies would be shit, and they are few shit. Literally, they stink. Shave off your stupid brush, and you'll look precisely like this retarded pervert. Well, okay, you talked about the performances. We got uh, Lawrence Harvey back as Dwight Butler and Dieter Laser as Bill Boss, the warden. Dieter Laser, holy crud. Now, he starts off in this movie at, I would say, on a scale of 1 to 10, about a 15. That's where he starts. <laughs> yeah. And he ends up at a 20. Dave, it sounds like you felt like that really worked for you. Now, to me, his performance was almost too much. And I found it comical at times. I maybe laughed out loud a little bit. But it was almost too over the top from the get-go. And it kind of grated on me throughout the film. 
Hmm. I'll say this. I think by the end of it, not so much. It, it does wear a little thin, and I could see how some people would be aggravated with it. But for me, the first 20 minutes, absolutely kick ass. I probably haven't laughed. <laughs> the first 20 minutes of this movie, in today I watched it for a second time. The, the first 20 I, I would venture to say that I laughed more watching the first 20 minutes of this movie than the first 20 minutes of fucking Naked Gun. <laughs> really. Wow. Every Holy time he opened shit. his mouth. I am fucking laughing out loud. The first twenty minutes, it does, it doesn't he doesn't stay at that speed. It, the movie itself slows down a little bit. Then he goes up and down, and it's fine. It kind of had to because he kind of toned it down a little bit in the middle, and then he got fucking balls fucking out of control at the end again. I was going crazy, like I was trying to take notes for this movie, and everything that's coming out of his mouth, I'm fucking. That's why I had to watch it a second time. I was writing so much shit down because everything he was saying was making me laugh for the first fifteen twenty minutes. It was just out of fucking control. He was cracking me up. My notes for this film are literally only lines that he said. Right. I didn't write down anything else. <laughs> I have a two full pages of his lines and and they're they're funny. Oh, I mean, God. when he's like, "I need my ball sack emptied before lunch," right. you know, and By the way, I need my ball sack emptied before lunch. Just all that <laughs> shit. Don't bother me, tits, you know. Yes. I mean, <laughs> He throws the N word out in like five minutes right. and says, yeah, "He calls Zeus a monkey N." Word. Yeah, right. and and asks what his masturbation arm is, and then breaks it. Like he is so crazy right from the beginning. It's all it's like exhaustive. I, I don't get me wrong. I find the shit he says funny, but his speech is with his thick accent because he is uh, in this film a German American is so unintelligible. It's too difficult to understand him at times. I had to watch this film again, like you said, Dave, just to get the lines. And I did with, with earbuds today. You're right. <laughs> just to make sure I'd say I got 80% of it, but I wanted to get a hundred, you know, cause it was so entertaining. I, I had to put uh, the subtitles on and the yelling got so exhausting that I had to lower the volume like 10 points. Right. Uh, it was when, it was at 35. I put it to 25 about 20 minutes into it. It definitely seems like he went off script almost every time he was on camera. <laughs> it, it's I, it's <laughs> like it's like Tom Six was like, dude, you're fucking hilarious. Just go with it, man. <laughs> Yell about these dried clitorises that you're eating. It's gonna be awesome. Clitorises. <laughs> that that is pretty funny. What is that? Tribe leaders in Africa chew them for unbelievable strength. Yeah, but what exactly is it? Right, clitorises. What? Clitorises! What? <laughs> I think I think that fucking Brie, she was made to look like she was crying in, in two or three scenes. I think she was laughing. I think she was <laughs> laughing at him. I she really couldn't help it. Yeah, I think she couldn't control it because he was so off the fucking wall. Yeah, if you watch it again, look at that. Because <laughs> I noticed it today. I'm like, you know what? This fucking... I think this chick is laughing because she's hiding her face. And I don't know. I think it was supposed to be in the script that she's crying. But I don't know. Her body language showed to me that she was laughing. Yeah, hmm. that body language, baby. Oh, that body. Wow. Yeah, she I've is never, cute. I've never seen her before. So uh, I, I, I stopped the movie. Oh, me too. Yep. And, <laughs> and looked her up. X yeah, videos. Yeah. <laughs> went through a whole session, then went back to the movie. Yeah, I was like, oh, I need to go take care of something. Oh, I'll check be right this back. out. <laughs> when you hear the most amazing... Oh, I don't want to say stuff in front of Matt anymore, but... Okay. <laughs> You're so stupid. So anyway, uh, I, I went to look her up, and it was a secretary scene. I couldn't believe it. Oh, that is wow. funny. Wow. It was so cool. I was like, wow, it's like watching the movie. Like was an she... inside... If, yeah, it'd be great if she's wearing the same outfit. Right. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. <laughs> How about but... this? Would you have continued to watch it if Laser was in the video with her? Oh, Ugh. yeah. Probably just because... <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, I wouldn't prefer him, but, yeah. I'd, I'd rather, like, an anonymous guy. Obviously. I'm just... I just wanted to see what you would say. <laughs> I'd rather watch you in there, Dave. <laughs> yes, I don't blame you. I, I would do. I would, too. <laughs> I think most Lasers would. You know, I would yeah. rather I'd rather watch the Mean Gene Okerlund look alike, his uh, sidekick. <laughs> you think he looked like Mean Gene? <laughs> he looked like Mean he Gene did. if Mean Gene ate Mean Gene. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was two Mean Genes smashed together. 
We've got to make a human centipede of our prisoners. So ass to mouth, sharing one digestive system. It's brilliant. We don't got to deal with their shit no more. They just got to deal with each other. How about Lawrence Harvey you, that you're talking about? What did you guys think of his performance? I also felt like, I mean, he wasn't over the top like he was, but uh, I thought he was outstanding in Human Centipede 2. And here, it's just, he does nothing for me in what? this movie. Really nothing. Wow, seeing him in this in this movie makes me appreciate 2 so much more. Oh, yeah, yeah it makes me appreciate his acting ability right? 100%. But him in this movie, just that whole character, I don't know, the way he plays it. Oh, wow. I don't know. See, I don't know. I'm I'm almost going back and forth. I'm starting to think that having these guys in the film was actually a mistake. What? I, what? I, un- I understand that it's it. that's how this series works. It's wrapped around itself. It's all an inside fucking joke. But between... Dieter's uh, 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 speeches and yelling, which I can't understand half the time, and and Harvey's uh, just kind of subdued, kind of weird uh, southern draw and stuff like that, I feel like maybe they should have cast other people. I really do. Wow. I can't imagine this movie without them, and I, I, I wouldn't want to see it with any other people but those two cast. Okay, I, I really started to think about it. I'm like... I, I'm kind of getting annoyed. Like, halfway through the film, I'm done with Dieter Laser. I am done trying to understand him. <laughs> I truly am. And I'm like, who who could have done this? And I'm like, how about, how about William Defoe? You put William Defoe in this role, and he would have gotten across the same thing with less, essentially. Not to say he wouldn't act crazy or anything, but one, I would understand him. And two... I just think that he would have acted more appropriately as that character. Fuck. <laughs> you wouldn't have been anywhere near as comical. It, it was like, to me, this was like comedy gold. This hmm. is like dark humor. And apparently I love dark humor more than I like most comedies because this is the kind of shit that has me rolling. It's just mm-hmm. his performance to me is like fucking fantastic. Granted, I could see how people would say it would be annoying. Even, like I said, it does wear a little thin, and there is a little bit too much yelling. I wish they would have toned it down after mm-hmm. the first half. I, I wish they would have toned it down a little more, but I still enjoyed the fucking hell out of it. I can't even imagine anybody doing that but him. I did like him. Don't get me wrong. I liked him. But, like I said, this movie is an hour and 40 minutes. It's exhaustive, you know. That I'll whole character, what. that whole runtime is exhausted. <laughs> well, did you notice that the first hour is mostly like exposition? Like it's uh, there's a couple things that happen here and there, a face boil, a ball cut, but other than that, that's it. Right, <laughs> that is it. They don't even talk about the centipede <laughs> until fifty minutes. Because <laughs> it's fifty fucking minutes. Right, it's like. Here's the problem with that. We know where it's going. <laughs> so we're just waiting. And we all know that Dwight is what he, we all know what he wants to tell him, but he never lets him because he just keeps telling him to shut up, sit down, shut up. Mm-hmm. You know, and <laughs> doesn't let him talk. But we're just waiting like, dude, just just say it. And this yes. guy will realize it and blah, blah. And then we can get to that. But it takes an hour <laughs> to get there and it's just crazy because we've been through the two movies we all know where this is going and that's like the craziest thing that we're waiting an hour to get to it it's on and the goddamn poster i feel like you know it's like it's one of these cases where like it's exact i feel the same way tom six has a weird way of making movies because <laughs> yeah remember how we sort of felt that we couldn't take the first 40 minutes of part two because it was so repetitive with the crowbar and the shooting people mm-hmm. and just gathering people. Yet, we were able to point out specific moments that were memorable, like the guy beating him and the mom trying to kill him and then the guy saying, "I want to, man, I want to fuck that retard and, <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. You know, it, it's peppered with these moments, but at the same time, it feels... By the time you're at the part where you're finally getting to the meat of this, it's if you look back and it seems exhausting, <laughs> you know, to, to mm-hmm. look at it. Like we just spent an hour talking and I really can't 
I'm not taking in those few moments as if they were keeping my attention or something throughout the whole thing. I don't know. I, I did keep my attention, but it just didn't feel like I did. It was up and down. It would go down for a few, and then something kind of outrageous would happen, or he would say something fucking outrageous, or some little thing would happen. It, 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 I think it moved along okay, but it did seem that the down times were really down, and I don't know why. It's just the way I felt. I've never gone back and forth on a movie so much in my life as I've had this movie both times I watched it. I was like, is it this? Is it, do I like it this much? Do I li- not like it this much? It's like every time I, I was going one direction, something would happen and I would come back. It was really weird. But the highs were really high for me. So that, that's what it was. Laser's performance was just, I just enjoyed it too much, you know? And it, <laughs> but, but I'll tell you, the first time watching it, I'm right with you with fucking when he's trying to sell the centipede story to him or, you know, the, the centipede theory, whatever he wants to do. I'm yeah. like, spit it out. Like two or three times the opportunity and they got interrupted. And I was like, fuck. So I'm right with you. I, I completely feel that the second time knowing how it is, I just took it for what it was. But I, I, like the first time I'm watching and I'm sitting there and I'm like, just get to the fuck. And I want to hear him at least say it. And then I want to see it get constructed. What are we waiting for? Man, you like Tusk. You're a big fan of Tusk, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I would say that we don't see Mr. Tusk until close to the running time that we see the centipede in this movie. It's not that far off. It's yeah, an hour but... and something in. So it is similar. There's build up and everything else. Yeah, but that movie had suspense and out of this world acting. You know, there were other things to keep me engaged. Uh, yeah, Dieter Weiser is crazy and it's mm-hmm. entertaining at times, but it's not enough to keep keep my interest the whole time i i trailed off like i said i fast forwarded through part of the first human centipede because i got bored well i didn't fast forward to this both times i watched it for this review but there was a lot of anytime there's like nothing happening i i'm i'm looking at something else i'm doing something else there's it just didn't hold my interest because it's seemingly just a series of vignettes like okay now he's going to cut off this guy's balls. And now he's going to eat them. And now he's going to finger his secretary. <laughs> and, uh, you know, now he's going to waterboard this guy with boiling water. Oh, okay, yeah, that shit's crazy. And it's it's somehow more offensive than part two. But it's just not engaging me as much as I'd like it to. His dialogue and the callbacks throughout the movie is... is... You know, that's what kept me on. I do love the callbacks. Come on. Swallow it. I didn't get your asshole of father out of prison for nothing. Swallow it, bitch. Swallow up. God damn it. Well, sir, more than $50 billion a year are spent on corrections. Yet more than four in ten offenders nationwide return to prison within three years of their release. This, despite a massive increase in state expenditure. But not anymore. This human prison centipede will reduce crime dramatically. It will be a deterrent to anyone considering a career in crime. We can make savings on prison staff, food and drink, and books and television, housing. Heck, we don't even need fences no more. And that money can be spent on schools and hospitals and nursing homes and road improvements, whatever you want. And the taxpayers, they'll love you for it. I like, um, what's his name? I forget his name in real life. Harvey or whatever yeah, the fuck. Yeah, Lawrence Harvey. Okay, yeah, yeah Dwight. The midget? Yeah, <laughs> the midget, yep. I did like him in this. Um, I, I enjoyed it. I liked his character even. I mean, he's not detestable the way fucking Laser is. Oh, thank God. He's a detestable <laughs> fucking dude. He, that man has no redeeming qualities. He's a, a heel in every sense of the word. Absolutely, yeah. However, I still enjoy what's coming out of his mouth. He's just a charismatic fucking heel. So We talk about performances. How about Tom Six? Isn't he not the most odd actor in the world? Oh, man. I'm so excited to see the real mouth-to-ass operation. Prove all the skeptics wrong. It is 100% medically accurate. I'm going to be so rich and famous. Oh, man. This is so wrong. It's cool, I guess, in, the, in how meta they're trying to be with this shit. You know, the fact that the first two films take place in this universe. I like that. 
the Tom Six is coming in. I like that. The fact that he gets offended by the assembly <laughs> of the human caterpillar, which is was a new new thing. That's kind of cool. But anytime he opens his mouth, it's like, dude, shut the fuck up, dude. What are you doing? Yeah, his here? delivery was terrible. He reminds oh, me yeah. of you ever see Tommy was so with this movie called The Room. Oh, oh my, <laughs> he's not that bad. I know, I'm just kidding. Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, he didn't bother me. He didn't bother me, honestly. I mean, I know he's not an actor, so I'm not expecting anything special, mm-hmm. but I didn't think he was terrible or anything. He wasn't like, I, well, I would, Lloyd Kaufman fucking walks on the trauma set and, and does things, and he's awful, and it's so fucking cheesy. Like this Yeah, but me, he's a character. Yeah, but I know he's a character, but he's playing himself, too, sometimes. I'm pretty sure yeah. he is. Well, I, yeah, but it's always a elevated. He has a better sense of acting than Tom Six does, that's for sure. <laughs> well, yeah, but Tom Six is only playing himself, so he doesn't really have to, you know. he's not. He doesn't need fucking legs. He doesn't. What's he going to do? <laughs> he's unnatural. He's just an odd person, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> what, maybe about, what about Eric Roberts' haircut? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is I tell you what. Touch or what? <laughs> this this movie, I really enjoy how each film has a unique look and feel, and this one was no exception. And everything was so bright and and like crazy lit. And then you throw in Eric Roberts in there, and I'm seriously thinking that I'm watching a straight to video, straight to VHS '90s film. <laughs> Because that was his prime, and everything is lit like a fucking straight to VHS '90s movie. Totally. Oh. <laughs> I think that's what he was going for. Maybe I enjoy those those saturated colors. No, I liked it too. I yeah, I enjoyed it. I liked how it's a very very stark contrast from part two and even part one. Yeah, it was reminiscent of part one, but to mm-hmm. me, it looked just like part two. <laughs> <laughs> you shut the fuck up. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> It's hard to believe part two is in the same fucking uh, franchise. Wake up! We are not in the movie here playing some idiots. How about this? I got something for Dave. In the beginning of this movie, they really exaggerate the baby crying at the end of part two. Hmm. Now, but here's the weird thing. It doesn't matter if it was real or not because it's a fucking movie. (laughs) Right. I know. We had that whole debate. It doesn't fucking matter. Right. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. Right it's a fucking movie. Like, in this, it's a movie. So what's the difference if a baby's crying? It doesn't mean anything. There you go. So, all it's right. Well, stupid. That's right. How's that? <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> yeah. You may as well just say I think we're both right it's in cool. that sense. It's cooler if you're right, though. It's a, it's a better mm-hmm. fucking theory. So mm-hmm. I'll say you're right. You know, but hold on. Back to that. He goes, yeah, it's it's pure shit. Literally, they stink. He's fucking it's pure shit. But here it is, the character he plays. I mean that that's part of the fucking, you know, the political fucking satire in this movie. They they play him as a fucking you know, a one dimensional hardcore fucking right winger. Mm-hmm. Of course, someone that is that character is gonna fucking hate the human centipede movies. So yeah, that's true. It makes sense for the character. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's how I took it. What? That B-movie shit! Tom Six, creator of these films, he claims that it's 100% medically accurate! The man is still in his party stage, a poop-infatuated toddler. You call him now and tell him I don't speak with a stupid filmmaker about his poop fetish. And that is something about this movie that's great is the commentary with the fucking the, – the social commentary with the, the, the prison system, the political shits throughout. The funny thing is a lot of people probably won't even catch on to it. And some people might be listening to me talk now and fucking rolling their eyes and saying, no, you're just trying to make the movie sound better than it is by saying, oh, it's commentary. Well, guess what? It fucking is commentary. No, you know? it's definitely a satire yeah, on uh, satire. Our America's political views. Absolutely, 100%. It's in the tagline. True. It takes place in Texas. George fucking W. Bush's name is said <laughs> that that's his home. You know, I mean, the waterboarding. I mean, it's all fucking there. Absolutely. It's his prison. The prison is named George H.W. Bush prison. Mm-hmm. So I like yeah. that about it. You know, I like that they were doing that. And there was a whole bunch of shit the way he was talking to Eric Roberts and talking about him being a communist and the thing with the cigars and then literally hiding behind an American flag and wiping his tears of it and shit. It just, some people might not <laughs> 
<laughs> I forgot about that. But wouldn't it be better if he wasn't a German? I mean, I know he says he's German American, but if it was actually played by an American, I feel like that satire level would have came through so much better. Maybe they're saying George Bush is no better than Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what they're fucking saying. <laughs> they did call him Hitler a couple times. And Lawrence Harvey, he has that fucking Hitler stash. He says, I grew this mustache to look like you talking yes. to his boss. Which is weird because he didn't have a fucking mustache. I guess because he's German and the yeah, Nazis were no, German. Yeah, that Maybe at no one time sense. he did. I just figured at one time he did. Yeah. And he it. But I didn't want to look like him, so he shaved it when he grew his. Who else? Jesus. They should have showed a picture. They should have showed like a picture of the past with him with that mustache. That would have been that would have been the wise choice. Yeah, I like, wish there was some picture with him and th- uh, three dogs. That would have been good. <laughs> yeah, it would have been cool if there was like a self-portrait behind him and he had the mustache on it. We've given him some morphine to manage the pain. I personally castrated him. Yes, we all are aware. And tomorrow, we'll start a fucking mass castration doing them all. What about the Asian guy being in there? <laughs> I loved it. All the callbacks of the actors. Um, there was him and there was at least one other guy that I think I recognized. Oh, I, the the doctor from part two. Yes. I loved all that. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I think, was that one guy the cop? The, the, yes, the gray-haired yeah. dude, yeah. Yeah, he was fucking banging his head in the beginning when he was doing it. I thought that was him. Is that the same guy that got that got shot later for eating shit, or is that a different guy? Yeah, no, that's him. Yeah, <laughs> he's so <laughs> disgusted that he's eating his own shit, yet he's putting people together <laughs> to have him eat shit, so he kills his ass. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Speaking of the doctor, what the fuck is the point of a doctor just telling you you're fine no matter what's wrong with you? <laughs> that, Yeah, exactly. Well, he had to do whatever he said. He said yeah. in the film, I don't have a medical license. This is the only place I can work. Right. So he had him by the balls. You know, Dave likes that doctor because that was the doctor that treated Dylan McKay when he got into a coma in 90210. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, he ran his car off a cliff and he fell into a coma and that doctor treated him. We should interview Jason Priestley. <laughs> yeah, maybe one day. <laughs> you never come on these stupid shows. Oh, fuck no. No way in hell. How about when Tom Six comes in? And they start actually discussing how they're going to do the centipede and and why and all that stuff. Mr. Six, uh, this is a a big pleasure because I'm a big fan. Uh, Thank you, sir. (laughs) Uh, I really enjoyed how each movie had a different way of doing the centipede. You know, uh, it was very clinical in the first one. It was completely fucked up and, you know, in part two. And this one, they even did it differently again so they could release these guys into the public <laughs> when they were done uh i kind of like that little you know that little difference yeah i like how they use tranquilizer darts instead of a crowbar to knock the people out <laughs> i know i knew yeah i knew you'd like that jesus why didn't they just go in there with a fucking why didn't the doctor just go in there with a needle why go through all that rigmarole of fucking shooting Exactly. Why does ha- fucking Bill Boss do half the things in this movie? You know, it's just to be outrageous for outrageous sake. Right. It was a little like, um, see, like something like that when he was doing the tranquilizer gun, that kind of lost me a little. That seemed a little too like like a trauma movie to me. <laughs> you know, and trauma I don't like movie, yeah. that. I don't like trauma movies. I'll, I'll me say it right now. I yeah. don't. I know a lot of people do. I like the first Toxic Avenger. Toxy, yeah. Yep, that's it though. Like two and three, they got worse and worse, and then. I stopped watching them, and then what? For, I discovered the internet. I stopped watching them, and the internet came around when it came got big. And a lot of people were saying, "Hey, watch fucking Toxic Poultry Avenger guys. Four. Uh, watch guys. the fucking um, Citizen Toxy. It, it, it brings it back. Yo, 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 yo. Check it out. Yeah, you know, right. a lot of people were pimping it. So I burned the fucking DVD. I had my a couple, my brother, my friend over. We we're fucking gonna watch this movie. We were excited. I'm like, yeah, this is supposed to be close to the first one. We couldn't even fucking finish it. Twenty minutes in, we took it out. Couldn't it, be further than the first one. It, dude, I, dude, awful. I cannot take Diapers all those and shit. retard shit gags. Dude, retards awful. and shit are are not my sense of anything. They're not they're right. not appealing. They're not my humor. They're not funny. They're nothing to me. I hate it. And then the whole movie's like, I don't want to go with you because I don't. Like this guy talks like a retard the whole movie, and it's awful. like, oh. 
Dude. That to me sounds like you guys are describing this movie. That's what, <laughs> oh, see, that, I, I mean, not not to that extreme, but no. it's like it's all the same like joke over yeah, and over again. Like, what? It, yeah! <laughs> like, isn't this fucked up? Hey, look at what I'm making you watch. This is fucked up. Ha ha ha. You know, like uh, I don't know. It's just people like trauma. How do fucking some not everybody, but people don't really shit all over their movies like they shit all over this one. That's what I'm saying. Like horror fans that are talking shit about this are the same people that like trauma movies, and that to me makes no sense. And if you want to talk about annoying, saying that what's his name is like annoying, uh, Dieter Laser. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fine. That's your opinion. I, I, you know, I respect it. But how can you watch a fucking Jim Carrey movie or an Adam Sandler movie and not think those fucking guys are annoying? And that shit is. That's how I feel about it. Those mm-hmm. guys, to me, are annoying. However, Jim Carrey, the, the, like Ace Ventura and shit, like, like the real that. animated. Yeah, 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 and all that. Yeah. It's just fucking. No, it's just, dude, maybe part try two. too hard. I don't like it. I just fucking. It's just not for me. It's just my opinion. It's just it's it's annoying to me. They no, try no, too hard. You can't have that opinion, though. You, you can't have that opinion. Because I can't I don't help agree it. with it. I don't agree with it. Though. <laughs> but do you like Dieter Laser's performance? Whoever I think Matt said, I or no, you you said it. I think they should have toned it down. I think. Let's just say it was at a 10, which I think it was. I think they could have brought it to like, okay, they could have done some of the yelling, but how about you do that every 8 or 11 minutes instead of every 3 or 4 minutes? It would have made it more effective. Right, right, because when it's just cut, like I seriously just started looking around the room when he kept yelling. I was like, oh Exactly. I trailed off. Right. It It wasn't engaging anymore over time. No, No, it loses you. It's amazing. But you, you talked about trauma. Guys, this is a trauma movie. Let's just run through it. A guy gets boiling water poured all over his face. A guy gets his balls cut off in front of the camera. You know, we're watching this. A guy gets a, a fresh hole cut in his side and gets fucked <laughs> in his kidneys. That was, I, that was crazy and unique. Was I actually did enjoy that. Yeah. How yeah, about I mean, eating testicles? How but about it was that? a dream, too. That yeah, but they still showed it as a as a form of entertainment to us. That, like mm-hmm. that's you know, Tromo obviously would have probably just had it in a real part of the movie, but yeah, a guy I mean, eats his own poop. Yeah, like that is total trauma, man. Um, and a guy eats fucking testicles. Make these medium rare. He's... <laughs> yeah, how, but here's those fuckers some... looked well done. FYI. Hey, can you, you ever eat... cook testicles? Yeah. Do what? What's the have, question? Have you ever cooked testicles? First and foremost, I have not. Okay, no sir. Not even like. Uh, you never served weird things like buffalo balls or whatever? No, I've never worked at a place where we did that. <laughs> buffalo balls. <laughs> like he worked like he cooks for fucking fear factor. Or I've served pig pig intestine, you know, <laughs> you but see? that's a pretty regular fucking thing. Oh yeah, what's what? that called? Um um Chitlins. Chitlins, Venison's. yes. Oh yeah. shit. Venison's mm-hmm. dear meat. It's yeah. fucking disgusting. <laughs> and, and you're about trauma. One more thing to throw in there. They got a fucking some dumb blonde bimbo fucking half naked performing sex acts. Yeah. This is like trauma, but much better, in my opinion. Well, how about almost sloppy? This to me isn't sloppy and shitty. It's more, much more entertaining. Oh yeah, it's like a professional. It's like trauma with a budget. But yeah, yeah. absolutely. But here, how about how about raping a girl in a coma? <laughs> like, <laughs> here's the thing about that. That would have been epic, and it was good. But it would have been epic if we never saw a Serbian film. <sighs> I make you squirt even in a coma. You know, yeah. that's that's one of the cases where, well, too bad something before you came and it was far worse than that. You know? yeah. I never saw a Serbian film, so to me. But even, I mean, what what we're about, let's say, 70 minutes into the film when that happens, when he rapes her in a coma and says, I'm going to make you squirt even in a coma. <laughs> funny line don't get me wrong but it's just like it's just it it didn't impact me whatsoever because i felt like so much had happened to shock me that in the first 15 minutes that it just didn't it just didn't impact me at all (laughs) Hmm. how about how about why does zeus like why does he put her in the coma like what the fuck was it what was the problem like he's a killer that's why that's why he's in jail that's why he's in that prison to begin with he's just a fucking you know just a a bad person a fucking killer murder the guy from part one is jerking off about it (laughs) (laughs) oh he was jerking off about that Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) about a chick being beaten up 
That Jesus. was great. And how about the fact that he once again was in the same position in the centipede? Not the same. He was in position one. He was in the same. He was in a centipede again, and fucking laser went up to him, and he was fucking yelling at him. He said, "Feed him." Feed him. Feed him. Digestion in progress. <laughs> Just, oh, that was him there? Yeah, when the governor like was there. That. Yeah, there was so many callbacks. There really was. And he even said the one time, he's like, you don't match, I'll have to kill you. Oh, that was good. I yeah. did like that. And yeah, anytime they called back, I really it made me smile. Yeah. It really did. When he gave the speech again to the prisoners. <laughs> it was great. The exact same speech. Uh-huh. I loved that part. I really did. Uh, yeah. That was great. And when he shoots the guy in the colostomy bag hole, I love it. Oh. <laughs> you did? Oh, that was sick. Yeah, it was just weird. Was yeah, cool. that's just like another thing where it's like I'm doing this just to be gross when it's like, I don't know. I just felt like ugh, it's that's too much. It's like just get on with it, okay? Really? It's like. Yeah, now, I felt Matt, like it was too much. This is what I don't get. That's what you liked about part two, that he was giving an F you to the fucking critics by doing all this ridiculous shit. But, you know but what? now you don't like it. That's the weird In, thing. Retrospectively, I understand now that that's what he was doing, but he wasn't trying to be funny. This, he's trying to be funny, and it doesn't work. I've, that, I've, I praise part two because I thought it was fucking hilarious, and I stand by it. But he was ultimately just trying to say fuck you, as we've said, and just gross us out. And I think that's where it worked. This, he's trying to make an all-out comedy, and to me it just falls flat. In the long run. There are moments, as Alex always points out, there are moments in films that are good to great, but it doesn't necessarily make for a great movie. How about the the scene... When when he does cut the hole in his kidney in the dream and he's fucking his hole right mm-hmm. now and and he says he goes this shit feels good today's your day to be fucked like the rest of us but I'm not gonna do you in your stinking ass I'm gonna cut me a fresh hole in your soft kidney tissue <laughs> belly down <laughs> death. This shit feels good. <laughs> it's funny. That, right? that actor was good. He yeah. was good. Yeah, he's, mm-hmm. he he looks like he walked off the fucking the Sons of Anarchy cast somehow. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Doesn't he? Now, but, now you didn't like what's his name's performance, Dwight. You you didn't you didn't like the way he was saying the excretia when he was talking. And he goes, and then you attach it to the buttocks. <laughs> you didn't think that shit was funny? He didn't make me smile or anything throughout the film at all one time. Wow, Mm-mm. man, I'm really like, surprised because you like him so much. It could have been somebody else. I'd love him in two. Yeah, and th- I think that's the difference between the two films, where it's like this one, he's given jokes, are told to do something in a joking manner, whereas in part two, he was told to play this sick and dark, not funny. I think yep. that that's the disconnect for me. For me, now don't get me wrong, I still laugh at a lot of this shit, sort of. And I think a lot of it's funny, you know, just stretched out over an hour 40, man, it, it's, it's tough. I, oh, yeah. And, and we're, we're, I'm going to talk about this in the next segment, but I feel like I watched this a second time and I feel like 100% knowing what to expect going in. I know that Dieter Laser is going to yell for this whole movie. I, I could accept it more and I could get more enjoyment out of it. Like, watching it the first time, I didn't laugh one single time. I wow. really didn't. Wow, I can't believe this. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't yeah. stop laughing. I was going to say, I can't imagine this movie has any rewatchability value. But I guess oh. it does. Yeah, it's better the second watch. Like, most things are. You know? Like, most things are. Yeah. It, it just seems like I, it would be like a, a chore to sit through the first hour again, but I guess not. Well, but, now you know what to expect. You know what right, I mean? Yeah, you know right. what you're getting into this time. I'm not know? anticipating a, a... Right. Here's the thing, though. Once, That's what it was. It's weird because you're anticipating. You just can't wait till he tells them, and you can't wait till they do that. But once they do that, it's not like I'm in awe, and I'm like, yes, wow, I'm so glad to be looking at all these guys stitched ass to mouth. This is awesome. Like, it's not even... 
what I really want out of this, I guess. I don't even know what I want out of... Because it's played out. The <laughs> idea... It, seriously, the idea is played out. We've seen it in two films done better. And there's just nothing truly... I mean, they tried to do it with the Caterpillar. And that made me smirk that. a little bit. Oh, that was great. ta 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 The human caterpillar for the lifetime convict and our friends on death row. Now, is that a deterrent, too? <laughs> but that was only on the film, only in film for 20 seconds. And so, there, yeah, it, it's played out. Yeah, but lasers, the way he presented it, to the like the, the mystery of it, and when we saw them sawing off the limbs, which was kind of cool, and then Tom Six pukes <laughs> throws up. Yeah, and he's so dude, mad. this is so wrong. Right? Yeah, Tom this Six. is so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and he's getting all and and um he's getting excited. And he doesn't want to let fucking Dwight know what it is yet, and he's fucking getting them all jacked up. And then they're there, and he's like dun 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 dun. And he's like the human caterpillar. Yeah, oh, when he's happened. prancing around the yard. When the the centipede the peed is assembled, all that sh- stuff is great because he is so fucking proud of himself mm-hmm. for doing this. And I tell you what, the aerial shots, basically the poster, the far away shots, seeing the centipede, and it's all real actors, by the way, too, is amazing. I love that image. Love it. Yeah, it is cool. You think it's five hundred though? No. Uh, See, it's like three hundred. Yeah, you're probably right. That's my uh, got my guesstimate. I was trying what, to. What asshole would count? Just do three hundred. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that your Tom Six impression? Yeah, I think so. No, I don't count. know. I think so I combined count. a Tom Six and uh, Laser. <laughs> wow, really? I thought it was the Count from Sesame. The Count Dracula. Oh yeah. Who Sesame. counts? Count. I count one. You sent to be two. Sent to be. Who's still <laughs> counting? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Ask them out. I'll explain. The spectacular operation only once. We start with injections into the lip. Ligament patelli. Ligament patelli. Paralyzing the ligaments of your kneecap. So knee extension is no longer possible. Your lips and anuses are cancelled. And you co-sign the mucus cutaneous. Mucus cutaneous soul. Then we combine those saturnal mucosine skin parts of anus and mouth, creating a human centipede connected by your gastric systems. Did anybody realize that they never really created a human centipede? Because centipedes don't have heads all along their their <laughs> bodies <laughs> and things like that. It's not exactly a bunch of, like it it's not an insect or whatever that's that's a bunch of insects connected in any way. It's just one head and a long body. <laughs> like it doesn't really make any sense. To be a real human centipede, they the closest that which would be maybe cooler. Wow, this would have been cooler in the movie, I think, Hmm. if they cut all their heads off Mm -hmm. and just connected them like that so it appeared that the heads were in the asses. That would have been actually a closer (laughs) human centipede, right? How could they move? They wouldn't have been able to move their knees, though. They wouldn't have been alive either. Well, just just like the the puppets, or like you ever see when they – when a, a guy's in a costume and he has, he's like a roach with a bunch of arms coming down his body and he moves the two arms and strings move all the rest so, right. they, so they coincide. <laughs> Maybe they could have done that. Or it's just like these things just drag all the body together. That would have been cool, man. Fuck. Hmm. What about the caterpillar? Does that does that work for you, Alex, or no? Yeah, that's that's closer to horrific. See, that that is where I think if they wanted to go horrific and keep the shock value – they should have more probably focused on that type of thing. Right. Just, exactly. Just, a, just another funny. Yeah. 
But what else could they have done with it? Once it's done, there's nothing to be done because they're just they're they're limbless. So you won't get any action <laughs> out of it, you know. And what, and what could you do with a fucking centipede outside of like riding it or something, you know? No, that's why I said I said the big the first movie. I go, what would you do with the goddamn thing once you had it? I'd be like, All right, I'm bored. I'm going to. The- I have a great idea. This is what they should have done because they're trying to go so satirical with the political um, uh, themes and uh, and all that and the fact that. This will deter crime, future crime, because people don't want to be put in a centipede. They should have focused more on that and and had the centipede earlier in the film and then kind of... You have people get arrested and then they're... Exactly. Set and, and they know exactly. what they're doing. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, they should have focused more on that angle and it would have been something new. You right, know, not, not, yeah, not just the whole build up to the creation, which because we, we've had that, yeah. right? Twice, well, yeah. not no, even the first one got to it quicker, and we, we actually spent time with these assholes as a centipede in the first one. Yeah, cause, and that's I the agree. other thing: you don't give two shits about any of these fuckers. Not that you really did in like part two, but at least they were seemingly normal human beings. These are fucking assholes living their life in prison. It's like who gives a yeah? Put them in a fucking centipede. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. you know, I what? was all for it. It's not a bad idea, realistically. If you think about it from, you know, a perspective, I mean, because think about it. What they say, you know, inmates, they're going to be, they're not going to be able to run away. They're not going to be able to talk back. You know, it's going to save the state money in food. Mm-hmm. And you know what? It'll Billions save money. Billions of dollars, yeah. Yeah, it was actually, it would save money on plumbing and waste disposal, too, if you think about it. <laughs> yeah, you just <laughs> yeah. give them vitamin shots. Yeah, Dude, exactly. Dude, you're all set. They, they could have done that. I, I like that that aspect of it, that that would be the reason. I am completely okay with the reason behind it. Granted, yes, it's ridiculous, and mm-hmm. it's satire. But I, I like that that was the reason behind it, because they were in financial trouble and everything, they were, you know, everything else was going on. So yeah. this could work you know, um, from a fucked-up perspective, but it could work. But there was one thing I wanted to say. Did you guys realize when they viewed Centipede 1 and 2 to the prisoners, all the shit the prisoners were saying? And um, hmm. the stuff that was coming out of their mouth, was here's why I knew because the the one thing that the Asian guy said from part one, that's a famous quote from fucking Roger Ebert when he said something about um, no stars in the sky or something. Some oh, shit. you're right because he gave the film zero. He gave it no rating. He said it's so sick it doesn't deserve a rating. These films risk causing harm. They should be banned. This trash occupies our world. Where the stars don't shine. So they, they, that's another thing he would wow. do. It was satire on the people that criticize his movie. The, so I, I can't say for certain. I know the Asian guy said Roger Ebert's line, and the other, other other people said shit. All I can think is that you know he probably took real fucking people criticizing his movie, maybe people that are more famous reviewers, and you know put mm. them in there. So I thought that was a nice touch too. This movie is genius when you really look at it. <laughs> I, here, it is cool. I, I think the ideas, like this whole meta thing, is is really smart, and to be able to try and do that is smart. I just feel like it should, it would have been played better in the hands of a different filmmaker. Because I think now I'm starting to think that Tom Six is a one note kind of guy, and unfortunately, it's making me doubt. Uh, the other films that I liked, especially part two. Oh, no, Matt, it's, really? this, this displayed his commitment to his uh, passions. Yeah, he is committed, that's for sure. <laughs> Maybe he should be committed. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I think you take ten minutes out of this movie, it boosts it fucking completely up. Oh, yeah. 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 This movie should out. be... I, I, 90 I minutes think it long. should be 75 minutes long. That's a that's that's a pretty short. I, I'm not a fan of 75 minute movies. So I don't know. I'm not either, but I feel like there's too much repetitiveness. Uh, they should have gotten to the whole idea faster. All that, you know what I mean? I'm not maybe not take it all out. Maybe just put in something else. You know, more. I dare say, character <laughs> shit. You know, with these guys, <laughs> as opposed to just a vignettes of grossness. It's true. I'll tell you, here's something funny. The Human Caterpillar, when the movie first came out, like part one, I was confused and I used to tell people that this movie was actually called The Human Caterpillar. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, wow. I got confused. I just heard about it and yeah, it's Caterpillar, Centipede, you know, it's it's, it's an easy mistake. You know? Oh, and you know what? You know that guy I used to make fun of I told you about on the other show? Mm-hmm. That guy Z, that Asian guy? Listen <laughs> to this shit. One day, <laughs> one day I told him, I said, hey, because you know on Chinese New Year, have you guys ever seen that... Um, 
um, that they dragon and like the Chinese people get under the dragon. They have celebrations yeah. for Chinese New Year. So of course Chinese New Year is approaching, and I tell Z, I say, hey Z, um, what would you do if uh, this year for Chinese New Year? Because what they do is every year in the casino they run these dragons all over. They run this big dragon all over the casino. Then they go to this one part and they, they throw it cabbage and some other shit. It's like this big celebration. But they run it all over the casino. I'm like, Z, what would you do if this year the centipede the centipede, the, the dragon was moving really <laughs> slow, really slow, and nobody could know why. And then when they finally got to the end thing, <laughs> they had enough of it, and they took the fucking thing off, and he goes, what? And I was a human centipede, he would say. <laughs> I'm He's like, so yeah, all it. Asian guys. <laughs> Fucking and a human centipede under the dragon. What'd you do, I asked? <laughs> Just to bust his balls, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Chicks, I'm gonna show you some human centipede improvement. Copyright the boss. Follow me. Bing, 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 bing. You know, there's one thing I don't understand, though. When does Zeus go out for parole? But no, okay. he can't be out for parole because he's the face. He's the, he's centipede one, so he's he's there for life. He's a lifer. No, all the lifers were the caterpillar. Oh, you're before. right. Yeah. You're right. They were a caterpillar. Mm-hmm. Well, he's such an asshole that you know he's never getting out because okay. he's the first one. How could you get them get him out? He's centipede one. That's wow. what I think. I want to know when the Asian guy is up for parole because I want to see his next movie. <laughs> <laughs> if he's going to be in centipede four. With the aliens and shit. Actually, uh, he is going to be in another movie. I have the trailer right here. (laughs) (laughs) So stupid. It looks good, man. I don't watch trailers normally, but this is a good one. There was a lot of that going on. The callbacks were cool. You know? (laughs) When he goes, when he says to fucking, when he, uh, to Dwight, he's like, I'm going to kill them and I'm going to kill you and I'm going to kill me. It's yeah, just the same thing right. his mother said to him in part two. Oh, wow. I didn't get that one. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, the same fucking thing. And then mm. he says later on, Please, don't sew me into a human centipede. I beg you. Yeah. Your whining makes my dick even harder. That's what Laser says um, to that one guy that gives him all the trouble, that he castrates. Oh, and yeah. That, and what's his name in part two? He used to have dreams. And his father, he goes, he goes, when you're crying, it makes my willy even harder, he was saying. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah. See, there was more callbacks than, than I, I even got. Yeah. And, and probably that I even got. Get the fucking scum on the fucking knees. On your fucking knees. On your fucking fucking knees. Get the fucking scum. On the fucking knees. On the fucking, 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 fucking knees. <laughs> Get the fucking scum. On the fucking knees. Knees. I did like... <laughs> Get the fucking scum. <laughs> See, there's moments of brilliance <laughs> yeah. in his performance and stuff like that. I See, I, I like that. I think I like also talking about it more than I would uh, like to sit down and watch the movie again. You know what I mean? It's I don't know. It's best with other people. Yes, and I did not do that. I watched it one time laying in bed, and I watched it one time on my computer, and this is definitely a fucking party movie, 100%. Gotta yep. agree with you, yeah. Yep, and I watched it both times by myself, and I was still laughing at myself, but I'm knowing that people that have the same sense of humor as I do would be right there with me, so. Gentlemen, this is exactly what America needs. This may even get me elected president. You've convinced me. It's genius. Don't change a goddamn thing. My pals in DC, they won't believe their nearsighted eyeballs. (laughs) All right, well, let's see if this uh, Human Centipede 3 is exactly what America needs and gives some ratings (laughs) for this film. Uh, I'll go first. I've been pretty vocal that I didn't find this movie as entertaining as I liked. I found moments very interesting and funny, but overall the performances and just the uh, execution of the film left a lot to be desired for me. And it's unfortunate because it's probably the last in a series that I've enjoyed 
uh, or I've liked to loved. So, man, I just wish a lot of things were different about it. And I don't think I'll ever watch it again. I enjoy talking about it and repeating the lines, but that's probably about it. I see why a lot of people found this film to be boring and humorless. Um, and I don't want to say I agree wholeheartedly with, with most of the reviews I've read because I, you know, I, I think I have this twisted sense of humor as well, but I get it. So I'm going to give it a two out of five star rating. I don't like the film. Woo wee. That's the lowest rating we've had yet. I think Jesus. And it, it pains me to say that because I, I gave two a four and I just love it. And that, to me, is kind of where the series is going to end, unfortunately. I was back and forth, though. It was so weird as I'm watching this movie. Sometimes I felt like, man, this is a four. I'm really fucking enjoying this. And then other times I'll go back and go, eh, this is just a three. And right now they should have cut this out. I really, I, I can honestly say I've never been so back and forth with a movie as I was watching it as this. And I watched it both times. And I had the same feelings. The highs really had me high. The lows didn't have me too low, but I was just like, eh, I just wish, you know. And I understand. I, I don't get boring. I, I can't understand why anybody would say boring. Like I guess there was a small lull here and there, but there was always something going on. So I just, I can't, I don't get boring, but I can understand why people don't like it. I, 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 I understand. But uh, because I just kept going back and forth with four and three, I'm just going to settle on three and a half. I had fun yeah. with the movie. Yeah, Laser steals the fucking show for me. It's just, it's just <laughs> he, his performance is just too enjoyable for me to rate it that low. So, and it was gore in it, and I, you know, I, I had fun with it. So, yeah, three and a half. Wow. Yeah, normally I don't say anything very profound during a uh, rating of a movie, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> And that's what I think. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, everything you guys said, so there's no reason to repeat it, I guess. But, uh, yeah, it's the old, I guess I'll repeat it, because you know, I have to say something. But it, <laughs> it's, it's just like, you know, me and Matt said, it's like, yes, things happen. There are moments throughout the first hour, but... And you're there, and you're experiencing it, and you're watching the process. And I got to admit, I really did enjoy the idea that we finally got to see an up-close and personal uh, actual surgical aspect. Yeah, of, oh, that was nasty. Movie. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you could nasty. picture – I mean, I mean, you could argue we did in the second one, but that's just stupid. And it was black and white, and it was kind of just <laughs> – you know, dumb. <laughs> but this one, it was funny. How they like pulled the, the string tighter and it put their faces and ass together. So I really appreciate that aspect. I appreciate it. Like Matt said, how they personalized how we're going to do it this time, even working it out so we could send these assholes back into the society and all that stuff. I like the deterrent idea. And I guess Tom Six was sort of creative with coming up with new ideas to shock us and in a way a couple things, not really, like shooting the colostomy bag, raping a girl in a coma, like I said. It's already been topped off. Uh, you know, when a, guy, when a guy fucks his 10-year-old son in the ass, I mean, where, where are you going to go after that? <laughs> <laughs> the castration's but, uh, pretty good, though. That's good, but I saw it on I, Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, you didn't see anybody get their balls cut out and see the fucking testes get cut out of a sack. Oh, my God. Yeah, but Clay did that already. <laughs> okay. Clay did it. Clay did it. (laughs) Clay did it. (laughs) You know, Al Bundy hit it first, by the way. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. Fuck yeah. (laughs) So, uh, if I say I like it, do I have to watch this again? (laughs) No. You don't have to do anything, homie. (laughs) All right. Then I'll give it a three out of five. I like it. I don't not like I mean, I don't know. (laughs) 2.5. I (laughs) mean, I I like you, daddy. Like you, I like you, Pee Wee. Rank the Rank films. Um, wow. we'll we'll go in the same order. So, yes, I absolutely love not love. I'll say I really like part two, and that to me is the high point. Man, I kind of, even though I rated three lower than one, 
I feel like if I were going to watch one again, it would be three. I don't know. That's so weird. Bump up your rating. No, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to say two, one, and then three for me. He's repping. He's repping LA, man. The two, one, three. (laughs) What's Saeed? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, two, one, three. I'm easy, man. Uh, One, two, three. In that order. Uh, One, two, three. Yep. You also? Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I I still like. Oh, that's right. I, I gave them both a three and a half rating. Yeah, but I I still you know I I still prefer two. It'll be one, two, and three. Yep. There you go, guys. That's uh, Human Centipede three, the final sequence. We're gonna be right back and talk about spoilers. Should we be terrified of spoilers? Are they coming to kill us? Your own shit you could eat, but maybe not others. So maybe not. Is that why you don't mind the smell of your own shit, but other people it's like repulsive? Yeah, weird, um, huh? Yeah. I think I mind. Sometimes I mind mine. Some, yeah. Sometimes I definitely do. Yes. Yeah. Well, did you ever shit someplace besides the toilet? Like where <laughs> like water... on a chick's chest. Well, <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, has anybody here ever taken a shit where the water didn't cover up the smell? Oh, because I have gotcha. and I know there's a big difference. Well, you shit so high that it sits outside of the water. <laughs> 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 I'm like some mountain. <laughs> I took a shit. In a pizza box once. <laughs> Dude, whoa! Whoa! Hold on. Press pause. Let's hear this story. Hang on. I was at Woodstock 2000. Oh, Jesus. And the conditions were so terrible that nobody wanted to use the fucking, the, the porta potties. So we had, we, we had bought pizza <laughs> earlier in the day. So now I'm wasted, of course. You know, I'm at Woodstock. So I, I went outside my tent at one point, and I just took a shit in this pizza box. Then I, I brought my own stuff to wipe, of course. And then I walked in and I dumped it in the garbage can. But... I noticed that when I shit in the pizza box that, oh, my God, it was the worst fucking smell that's ever emulated from my body. So Wow. That, yeah. <laughs> never pepperoni again. Damn it. <laughs> wow. So the it's bottom, crazy. You say that. Why, Why? did you shit in the box? No, I got a pizza one time, and the guy <laughs> put it in, you know, I only got a couple slices to go, so he put it in a white paper bag, and I had to shit in that bag. So, because <laughs> I was at work, and I work outdoors, so I was driving around, so I just pulled over and shit in the bag and threw it on some guy's lawn. <laughs> but do you remember how bad it must have smelled, right? No, I don't remember. Oh, I'll never forget. It was the worst smelling shit I ever took just because the water wasn't there to cover up the smell. You know what I mean? Well, actually, I threw it in the front the lawn that is across the sidewalk where the garbage usually would be laid out. So I, It wasn't that bad. Ah, uh, okay. But it's weird that we both shit in a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> We're mentor. brothers. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Banana laser wins every time.